Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for this week's episode of Word Wednesday. I'm Jaja and you're watching Jaja Live. This is the new month of October, which means we have a new topic of discussion. All this month we are talking about recognizing the devil. <music> Today's focus is the story of Lucifer. As followers of Christ, we recognize that Satan does exist. He's not a myth, he's not a fairy tale, and he's not a figment of our imagination. The devil is an active, living spirit whose sole purpose is simply the destruction of all humanity. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 reminds us your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. In order for us to be on guard against the enemy, we have to first know who the enemy is. So why not start in the beginning? In God's word, the books of Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Revelation outline the fascinating story of Lucifer, God's created cherub or angel. And not just any angel, but God's highest ranking angel to his wretched plummet to the title we now call the devil or Satan. Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 12 through 17. This is what the sovereign Lord says. You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorned you. Your settings and mountings were made of gold. On the day you were created, they were prepared. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till the wickedness was found in you. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly, on the utmost heights of Mount Zephon. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 through 9. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. I know, interesting, right? After learning about Lucifer, we can begin to understand Satan's motives, why he works so hard contradicting everything that God teaches us, and why he always wants us distracted and alienated from the one true God our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All this month, we'll continue studying God's word and learning more about the enemy and the ways that God helps us to remain on guard against him. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Word Wednesday. It is always my prayer that this entire Word Wednesday series is a blessing to you. And I certainly hope that you'll be joining me next Word Wednesday as our discussion on recognizing the devil continues. I'm Jaja and this has been Jaja Live. And I certainly hope to see you next Word Wednesday. Bye-bye. There's one thing I
I know is so And that one thing is this My God that lives within my heart Loves me very much He lifts me up When life storms are blowing me down He places